Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the roof and massing form. Most of you are creating the roof by standard tools like a roof or like a floor, but in this tutorial I will talk mostly about the not typical the roof and how we can do that. Yes, this is really uh, main or basic topic, but the main question how we can use for example the form to create our roof and where it can be useful. If you are ready, let's get start. And we will start from the most users, uh, the flat roof. Uh, you can create by different way the flat roof. You can create the, by the tool, uh, for example, the roof. You choosing the level. Uh, I think you already know the, all these things and creating. Just if you want to create it flat, you should select your all lines and saying like slope it will be zero because right now we have the slope or you should select it and we should uncheck the uh, slope both way it's working and let's say okay and as you can see you get flat roof or the most users also the most users the tool you can also the use the uh, for the flat roof the uh, floor it's not the big it's not mistake it's totally not mistake because sometimes it's really you need to use the floor like a roof we have the reason for that uh, it's obviously this is the Revit and that's why we are using some different tools to achieve the result okay we have as you can see we created the two different roof and what's the point to use the, for example the form uh, point to use the form actually the form because your form can be, be changed like that for example once you're changing the form your you changing also not only the form not only the roof for example as you can see right now a roof not like this right now our roof should be, be like this right but also it's changing the facade and if you have the levels it's changing the floor into that so if you are using for for example the uh, like a mass form like a complex uh, solution for your building the it's reasonable to use uh, the roof also for your mass form you after that you can easily just update it select your uh, roof and just update it and as you can see automatically it will update it for example i will tell you i will show you the another way why it's also uh, should be used uh, let me go to the messing and as you can see here is the wall and let's say we'll place here the wall. As you can see now, I have here the wall. If I will changing, for example, the messing form wall and my roof also not changing, this is bad. But once I will select it, I will update this one and I will update this one. And as you can see, it's changing automatically. Uh, now let's uh, try to image your building. It's really huge and you have like not just one cube, you have like uh, some of the cubes. It's really savings time. But as I said, the standard flat roof is the really optional uh, thing which is you can use really a lot of different tools we are switching to the type number two and here is starting something interesting because something like that you are not able to create by standard tools in Revit so you cannot just uh, take the roof and creating the like a curve one because once for example if you will create it for example I will show you you will do like that and uh, you will uncheck this uh, sloping and you will say okay you will get just straight roof so this is not for what we want we want to get the curve so how to do that uh let me i will just spend a few seconds to show you how it's working i will i will delete all the walls uh let's go inside to the mass form as you can see we have the standard tower cube uh cube box whatever and after that you just need to create only the uh, void form as you can see here is the my void form here is the my box here is my void form and uh, after your cut one form from another form you will get this type of the form let me will show you some uh, who don't know how it's working uh, i will show you the some f fast introduction i will set my face where uh, i will draw the profile here is the will be drawing my profile and for example i will set here is the cycle 
and I will create something like that. So this is, will be empty entrance inside. Now I will select this my profile and I will create just void form. And as you can see, now Revit uh, trying to help us which one void form we want to do. Uh, for example, this one, like a dome, this one. It's not working fast like a dome or we want to make like a cylinder. Let me will use like cylinder and as you can see, we get void inside our form. Uh, it's not any point for us to make in this form a void because uh, our roof will, uh, will curve this only part. But let's say uh, we want that. Why not? So, as you can see, we can create whatever we want and only our, only our imagination is limitless for this type of creation. Once you will do that, you just finish it and after that go to the um, waste our amazing form and here the, our roof, select only uh, the face which is, will be our roof and say create the roof. And as you can see, we created the roof. But one thing. And this is really matter for some someone, I don't know, not for everyone. Let me, I will create here, then near with this object, I will create just simple roof, uh, the flat one. No, this is already not flat because I didn't change it. Let me, I will create and they will do, it's not the slope. As you can see, we have here the something like a hatching, which is showing the, this is our roof, basic type, roof uh, pitches. Let's select it and as you can see, the, here is the my type of the roof. If I will select this one, it's totally same, but we don't have any hatching. And be careful, we not will have any hatching because uh, this is a Revit, <laughs> you not will get it once your form not will be standard one. So this is, as you can see, form it's not standard and that's why it's not working. Be careful with that. Okay, now you understand we some simple form we can create like this and it's working. And again, and again for example, your form is changing. Now it's form like that. Uh, of course, we should also the change our void form because right now, as you can see, void form it's uh, just cutting only one part of our building. Let me I will change it. I want to take this face and I want to make it bigger. Okay, once I will finish it. Now I will select my roof and I will click update and as you can see we updated it really fast. So now you already see more complex and complex form. Uh, once you will change it, you don't need to think how the roof will be work. Just one click update, your roof will update. Let's go to the type number three. This is type number three, this is sloped roof, mansard, whatever. Uh, as you can see, we really can easily create the kind of this form in Revit by the standard roof. But we have the one thing, for example, let me I'll create it. Uh, it's, not, it's not so looks like easily as we can think. For example, we'll try some creating something like that. It's not working. We cannot making, for example, the center one, it's not sloped. As you can see, it's not what exactly we want because it's cutting inside it. We should calculate uh, or we should check where is exactly will comes our form to create the same thing. Yes, it's possible to create it in Revit by standard tools, but the thing uh, you should uh, spend a lot of the time for that. And for what? Only to get this uh, kind of the results? No, I, I don't think so. This is your way. Okay, so you can see we can use the kind of like uh, the form, but this one is much easiest. Even even if we'll try, we can of course we can make create for example the line like that. For example, here it will be two hundred something, and here it will be. Let me I will make it equal. Here it will be two hundred fifty to make to make it everything right. Here is we go 250 and let's make the same thing in this side too to make it more close looks like that. Let me make here do 2000. Oh, 2000 I said and here it will be 2000 too. Select line and change the distance 2000. Okay, so let's finish it. Now again, it's not working as you can see. So this is the problem. 
if uh, even in the in this site it's maybe it's working maybe it's not okay you should calculate it so it's be it should be be equal first from this distance to this distance uh, and it's not be uh, 30 degree I think it will be 45 to get this result okay anyway you can do that I believe uh, you can do that uh, but a better way just create the form like this yes I will show you the form I will delete this all the site and I will delete also this roof and as you can see you're just creating this form and after that you can do the easily easiest thing you're going to the messing form you're using the roof and for this site it will be roof you creating the roof here is the roof and you're going again mason site and for example for this site here you, you can use the wall but uh, better for this site using the floor or the roof too and creating the roof done as you can see i really saved a lot of the time and even if if i will delete this roof or i will change for example the sum of the side of the my form it's really hard to change because i'm using uh, here let me i will show you what i'm using I will delete the roof, I will delete this roof, and I will go inside to do this model. And as you can see, here I have um, here I have one form to cut it and another form to cut it. Uh, just crossing, cutting, and I'm getting this kind of form. Anyway, you still able, for example, to change, for example, something like that. As you can see, I change it. Let me, I will sa save it. And now I can still use it to create the form. Where is the my missing form? And let's create. I don't want to create there. I want to create it here. And on the top two, let's create it. And as you can see, we get the form. Uh, I don't think, as you can see here, I don't think how, where will be my angle, where I should cut it. I just select that form. I should. I think you understand why the form it's also here is the one of the best solution again it depends what you are doing for if you are working with the concepts i think the mass form it's totally totally number one if you are working already on the documentation there you should see on the situation kind of this form you're not able to create by standard tool roof at all uh, because uh, rabbit cannot work with the curve one okay so I mean the roof uh, roof tool it's not working with the curve one this uh, roof you can create by two ways and this is two ways pretty close to the each other first one this is model in place of course here is model in place but I'm not recommend you to use a lot of the model in place because uh, actually model in place uh, creating uh, something like a family inside your project uh it's not the best way for the roof for the other thing yeah and another way just messing again you creating the messing and after that you're using the standard roof by face how it's working uh let me i will select this roof and i will delete it as you can see here is the my form kind of this form it to create it's really easy let me I will show you you just need only the one profile in the on the base and another profile on another level let's say it will be on the zero and as you can see now i have on the different level my two my two profiles let me I will place it uh, to near each other to create a kind of a better way a better view and after that just select one profile and another profile hold the control key and create the form done as you can see here is your form after that of course you can change your form whatever you want for example you want to change one part you can make it bigger why not and here it's only again your imagination is limitless uh, also you can change the profile it's uh, not the uh, rule it's not the rule to use the one profile you can create another profile and Revit automatically trying to create um, to create a connection for example i'm using here the square profile the rectangular one i mean and under the level one and i will create it here yeah like this so as you can see here is the my profile you can select one profile and another profile and create the form so it's uh you cannot see the better yeah like this maybe you can see as you can see it's impossible to create uh, in standard uh, or you will create it piece by piece but uh, i don't think so it will be working so once you will finish it of course you're going to the again to the mess 
and roof and select your form and create it. Here the one secret, as you can see, I cannot create roof on this uh, on this slope, but here I can. And you will see on the next type why we cannot create it. I will try to introduce you. So what we can do if you create cannot create, for example, a roof on this part. So type number five. And my uh, lovely type of the roof actually, because uh, I don't know, the form, uh, it's looking the sphere, looking always very nice and uh, rabbit when you uh, turning on the shading, so anyway. So this is dome roof. Uh, again, you cannot create it by standard roof, but let me see, can you create this standard one with the just a roof, I mean uh, with the masing and roof. Uh, how to create, for example, the uh, sphere, if you don't know how to create it in Revit, I will sh show you. Let me create a new mess. And as you can see, we have here the cycle. Let me create the cycle. And that's it. Just select it and create the form. Once you will select create the form, Revit asking you which type of the uh, form you want to get. Because this is a cycle, you can get the uh, cone one or you can get the sphere one. Of course, uh, we are talking now about the sphere and I will use the sphere. Here I cannot see the um, uh, really nicely. Uh, is, is it the sphere or not? Let me will change to shaded one and you can see this is a sphere, right? And what we will do the next? Next, I will say OK, finish. So this is for what I want and I want to use it like a roof. I'm going again to the messing, I'm using the roof and did you remember last time I said uh, you cannot create on the complex form the roof and this is the reason here we cannot create it too, as you can see. But if we will look back to the standard Revit tools, sometimes we are creating the our roof by two tools. And this tools a uh, really familiar one and this is actually the roof of course and floor. Uh, these two things uh, it's not able to use for the complex form, but able to use wall. So as you can see right now we can create the roof by wall. Uh, the dome form it's like depends where he, where starting the roof here or here where starting the wall here or maybe here. So here we don't have really the boundary where we really understand where is our roof, where is our wall. Uh, because uh, here, for example, the straight form and it should be a wall, but this is a dome form, here it can be roof. It's uh, what I'm trying to uh, introduce you. Actually, it doesn't matter if you, if you will use here for, for this form, you will use the wall or you use the roof, because all these three things roof, wall and uh, roof, floor and wall working by one uh, by one, one thing, by one rule, by one engine, whatever. You have the inside of this, uh, inside this tool, uh, some layers of the material, that's it. Let me will use the wall, I will go to the messing and I will use the wall and I will select it and we create it. As you understand, yes, we should create the, some really nice type of the wall because if someone will click on your mod model for example let me I will hide my missing form I will, will select your model he will uh, read like basic wall huh, it's not basic wall of course you should change the name of that you should duplicate it and change the name of that let me let me will for example yes this is uh, the basic form it will be still the wall but it's okay it's uh, not a not bad thing but here inside the type you should change it I will duplicate it and I will call like roof dome type, for example. And now, yes, okay, now everyone understand, okay, yeah, you're using the, uh, the category wall, but this is a roof. And after that, you can calculate it easily inside the schedule. So don't forget always about the naming. I'm always telling you in all my videos in my channel, the naming is number one and knowledge and Revit is number two.
Okay, so as you can see, the most hardest form creating by really easily thing, you just should switch it to the wall. And this is not will be a mistake. Of course, if you will be use wall for all your roofs, it will be a mistake. But for kind of these forms, it's not.